Hello there, I'm Lakshmi and welcome back to Pathfinder Pro. With 60 days in our hand, we all have entered the last phase of CAD preparation plan. While some of us might be having very good scores, most of us would be having low scores and would have already started comparing us with the top scorers and some might even be in the verge of giving up. At this point, the only question that is ringing in our head is, is it doable? Well, the answer is right in front of you. If I tell you, at this time, my CAD mock percentile was around 30 percentile and yet at the end of 60 days, I ended up getting calls from multiple IAMs. Can you believe it? Well, that's what really happened. So if I could do it, I think any of you watching this video can also do it. On this note, let's kickstart today's video where I am going to be explaining you about an exact 60 day plan to make you get calls from IAMs. Okay, firstly, CAT is not really about learning all the concepts. In my opinion, it is more about the strategy. So primarily, we should be able to understand the score versus percentile concept. Then based on that, we should be making our daily prep plan and then the mock taking strategy. And finally, I'll be explaining you about how you should be analyzing each of your mocks. Okay, starting with the score versus percentile concept. How many of us know that attempting just half the paper of CAT examination is enough to make you get 99 percentile? Yes, with this said, let's say our aim is to get 99 percentile. For that, how many questions should we be attending in each section? Let's say we start from BARC. A good attempt rate is 14 to 16 questions. Followed by BALR, it should be 12 to 14 questions. And in case of QA, again, it is 14 to 16 questions. In this, one to three questions can be wrong in each section. However, all other questions should definitely be right. So totally, we are attempting about 42 questions in which, let's say, 35 questions turns out to be right. So out of 66 questions, solving about half a paper of 35 questions is enough to make us get 99 percentile in the CAT examination. Now that we have understood our aim as to how many questions should be right per section, now let us make our daily prep accordingly. For this, I would ask you to devote about 5-6 to six hours a day daily. I do understand that some of you might be going to college or might be working and it is difficult to give 6 hours at a stretch. If not at a stretch, I would ask you to devote at least 3 shifts of 2 hours each for the next 60 days for sure to make this happen. So here, we'll be trying to devote 2 hours per section. In this, 2 hours is just a mark. We all are very different when it comes to learning. So more than checking the time, be sure of the quantity of work that you have done. Now starting with quantitative aptitude, try solving 20 questions from algebra, 20 questions from arithmetic and 10 questions from geometry for sure per day. After this, if you have time, try doing 5 questions each from modern math and number system per day. So you should be doing 70 questions maximum and 60 questions minimum in QA in one day. Now, in this, most importantly, do not forget to keep a timer of 1.5 minutes per question. At the end of 70 questions, just like CAT examination, grade yourself and see what score did you get in quantitative aptitude for that day. In this, if hand-picking questions from each chapter is so difficult, then I would ask you to do two sectional mocks per section every day. Now, coming to BARC, your aim is to solve five R passages, read one R do five questions from para completion, para summary, odd sentence and para jumble type questions. Here, do not forget to keep a timer of seven minutes for all RC passages and then for all BA questions, keep a timer of one minute. In case of DILR, I would ask you to do six to eight sets a day. Now, while you're doing this practice, I would also ask you to pick up some of the real CAD questions some of the days so that your confidence can also increase. Now coming to mocks, in a week of 7 days, do practice for 4 to 5 days and take mock for 2 to 3 days. Now here, while taking a mock, also remember our score versus percentile concept. You should be able to solve 14 to 16 QA questions, all BA questions and 3 sets from BALR for sure. In this, say you are starting from QA. Initial 3 to 5 minutes, just go through all the questions and try to rank them as easy, medium, hard level questions. Easy are the questions that you know and medium are the questions that you know feel a quite lengthy or you might have to put some trick in it. Hard are the questions you don't know but are very lengthy. 
so your aim should be to solve easy questions in a minute and solve medium questions in a minute or two and leave the hard questions only if you have time go to the hard questions mostly by solving the easy and medium level questions we'll be able to achieve our target in case of varc i would ask you to solve all the questions although we do know the good attempt rates varc it is possible for us to solve all the questions and its accuracy level is usually less than other two sections i usually start from rc and then go to va again try to devote to 8 minutes per rc passage and one minute for a va question going to dlr in the initial 5 to 8 minutes just go through all the dl assets and their questions and rank them as 1 2 3 4 here one is the most easy question and four is the most difficult question according to you your aim is to solve rank 1 2 3 at the end of 40 minutes now do fourth question only if you have time by solving the first three sets and getting most questions right we'll be able to meet our targets now in dlr the initial 5 to 8 minutes is so crucial if you do any mistake in that then your entire dlr section is going to be wrong so be very careful when you're choosing once you're done with it solve each dlr set in a span of 7 to 8 minutes with this you'll be done with your examination now coming to mock analysis if you have taken your mock examination from institutes like career launcher ims or time institute then they themselves will provide you a clear cut mock analysis in front of you if you feel from the institute where you got your mock examination you are not getting such detailed analysis then what i would ask you to do is do a matrix like this you should be making a matrix like i'm going to say right now questions i know questions i don't know questions i attempted and the questions i missed if you knew and you attempted then it's very great if you don't know and you missed that question that is again a good decision however even after knowing the question if you have missed the question because of time constraint then it is a terrible mistake you should be going back to all those questions checking them and you maintain the time here the questions you don't know and yet you wanted to try these questions should be your last try after doing all the questions that you know by this method if you check your right answers wrong answers and do this matrix then i would say that you have did your best and you should be grading yourself each mock and see a graph for yourself if you are improving or not if you are not improving find your mistakes and correct it as you can see here this is my mock graph that i made and i finally did get selected into multiple iams so if i could do it i think you can also do it if you have any questions you can feel free to ask me in the comments or you can reach out to me directly on linkedin thanks for tuning in to pathfinder pro i hope you enjoyed this video and found our content helpful if you like this video don't forget to like it and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update see you next time